Today I'll be diving deep into seven of the most powerful tricks that a man can do to improve and enhance his facial features. I have been getting a few comments from you guys uh, recently, these last couple of months of you guys just asking me what I've been personally doing. Not that I have some sort of poster boy face or anything like that, but I definitely have been able to kind of clear up my skin a little and achieve a slightly more chiseled, slimmer look than what I typically have. So jumping right into this, one of the most beneficial things that I've been doing lately is applying a toner as my foundation. Now, honestly, I never thought much of toners. Um, for years, my wife used them and I just never saw the significance till I actually incorporated it into my own skincare routine. Now, toners are designed to restore your skin's pH levels, control oil, and boost hydration levels as well. They're also great if you're looking to prevent acne breakouts. You can also use them as an aftershave, especially if you throw it in the refrigerator and kind of chill it in there. It helps clean up and close those pores. Anyways, you should always apply a toner immediately after cleansing and before using any serums or moisturizers. My personal favorite toner is the Rosé Water Facial Toner by Travertine Spa, which is an ingredient that has been used for centuries and centuries. But hey, as always, feel free to use whatever you prefer. I'm here just to tell you what I think is best and leave it up for you to decide whatever you want to go with. And a couple other products that are worth mentioning that I use every night before bed are the pH Balancing Moisturizer with Retinol, because as we know, Retinol is a necessity, and the Marula Night Serum. Now the Vitamin C and Sunscreen combo is the ultimate game changer that'll help protect your skin day in and day out and also help prevent deep set wrinkles. Vitamin C is known for protecting your skin from the free radicals that you face throughout the day and sunscreen obviously protects your skin from the sun which is the number one leading cause of wrinkles. And check this out, when you pair them together, the vitamin C actually boosts the SPF's effectiveness in the sunscreen, which is a huge beneficial factor. Now, before I go ahead and just dive deep into what I think is the number one thing to really improve your facial features, I first want to quickly discuss a new procedure that I just started doing this year that I highly recommend. Now, like I just mentioned, the moment you step foot outside, your skin automatically feels the effects of the environment. I'm talking pollutions, toxins, free radicals. These are things that are constantly damaging your skin and that are speeding up that aging process, right? So the best way to counterattack this environmental damage is an advanced hydrofacial. I recently got this done myself at Spa Truve at the St. George location in Utah. This is actually a place that my wife introduced me to and um, they just provide what I think is the best skincare services and um, I honestly just have an awesome experience every time I go. But anyways, this procedure cleanses, exfoliates, and extracts to remove the impurities from your skin, all while removing dead skin cells and replenishing your skin with nutrients, antioxidants, and just many other beneficial ingredients. All in all, a hydrofacial will reduce fine lines and wrinkles, as well as replump and firm your skin. And if you visit Spa Truve, they also provide red light therapy to maximize your skin's health and appearance, and they provide the Hydro Jelly Mask, which A, this whole procedure was so soothing that I I fell asleep. I, I just completely knocked out during my session. I was out like a light. Anyways, I highly recommend all of you watching. If you want to take your skincare game up another notch, um, check out Spa Truve. I'll link them down below for you. They also provide many other treatments like fillers uh, to enhance your jawline or cheekbones or, you know, for those of you that need any like extra love maybe around this area or whatever. Actually, a lot of celebrities, male celebrities are doing this right now. And in my opinion, as long as you don't go overboard, hey, I think it's cool. Um, it's no different than say getting braces, right? I mean, we get braces to change and shift our teeth. I remember actually when I was about 10 years old, I wore this headgear piece every night before I went to bed um, to actually shift back my jaw because I had an overbite. So to me, hey, it's all kind of just one and the same. These are all procedures that are uh, here to help enhance your facial features, to help you look better when genetics are just kind of holding you back. <laughs> all right, now, above all else, if you're really looking to enhance your facial features, if you're really looking to get that supermodel-like chiseled face, it's quite simple, really. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's quite simple. And that's lowering your body fat percentage. It's not about doing all these facial exercises out there and all these weird methods. Um, it's about removing facial fat. So that way the bones stick out and they actually become visible. And no, you can't target this 
area, your face to lose fat. You can't target any specific area to lose fat in. Just like how, you know, sit-ups aren't gonna help you shed belly fat. It doesn't make sense. You have to lower your overall body fat percentage and then your face will be a result of that. For some guys, the fat on your face may be the first thing to go or the very last. It just depends on your genetics. For me, personally, um, I lose fat everywhere else first before I lose fat on my face. So I have to really get my body fat percentage down really low. And no, I'm no physical trainer or doctor or anything like that. But for those of you wondering how I did it, right now I eat around 2,300 calories per day, which is my maintenance level. Uh, uh, meaning this is the same amount of calories that my body just naturally burns a day without even doing anything. So I'm basically eating just enough not to lose fat or gain fat. And I keep track of all the calories I eat by inputting my, um, all my meals into my Lose It app in my phone. I'll put the link down to that app if you want it yourself. If you want to go ahead and download it, I'll put it down below. And even though I eat around 2,300 calories per day, I then go ahead and burn four to 700 calories per day just by working out just by going to the gym, which then brings me way down below 2,300. So that way my body is now in a calorie deficiency, ultimately enabling me to then lose that body fat. And I typically do this until um, I get to the body fat percentage that I desire. Now you could just eat less calories every day, eat less food and also lose body fat. Um, opposed to go to the gym like me and do a whole bunch of cardio and um, lift weights. But for me, I feel like when I do that, I lose all my muscle, I lose all my gains this way just because I'm not um, getting in a lot of nutrition. Opposed to getting in all my nutrition, eating at maintenance, and just burning off all my calories by working out. By the way, just to inform you guys, I get a lot of my meals delivered to me from Flex Pro Meals, and this isn't a sponsor or anything, I just really like their service. It makes it super easy to track all my calories and macros simply because it's printed right on the packaging. And I think I have a promo code for 20% off. If I do, I'll put it down below. And just to be honest with you guys, I've tried probably three to four different meal services so far, and Flex Pro Meals definitely has the best tasting meal. And Emma Bean is a, uh, she's a co-signer on that. Now, if you've been rocking the same hairstyle for over two years now, it's time to update your hairstyle, my brother. Um, it's time to switch it up. For the longest time, I mean, even myself here on this channel, I didn't ever want to grow out my sides because I didn't want to have to go through that one, two month awkward stage, right? And um, hey, so for years, I've just, you know, you guys saw me, I was only rocking just, uh, undercuts, high skin fades, and just these super clean cut, tricked out looks, right? Um, but last year when I decided to just bite down and go for it, um, hey, now I, now I can't even see myself going back to shorter sides. At least, I mean, at least for right now. I mean, I love it, it's fun, um, it feels, it feels cool just being able to apply some product onto the sides of my hair, and uh, to kind of have some texture on the sides and in the back of my hair just to kind of have fun with it. Um, but hey, either way, try something new. Go for something new, you know? If you've always had real long sides, try going for something nice and short. Um, hey, you could just stumble across your next best look, like I feel like kind of have. And hey, look, I know a lot of you like hairstyles with shorter sides because it makes your overall face look more slimmer. Um, and I feel you on that, but hey, try what I did. Try lowering your body fat percentage down a little bit, get that face a little more slimmed up, a little more chiseled, and try going for something a little longer on the sides. Honestly, I bet it'll look great on you. And uh, hey, from my own experience, it's uh, it's given me just a fresh, new, and kind of updated look, which ultimately results in a confidence boost. And look, you can, uh, at the end of the day, you can have all the looks in the world, but if you don't have confidence to back it up, you don't got much. Which leads me into the last tip of today's video, which probably doesn't have anything to do with today's topic, but um, it's probably the most important tip and that is connect. Connect with others. Single dudes especially, talk to women on the regular. I know it may seem rough, but uh, hey, Elisha Long just started a 100 day high thumos challenge where um, you have to talk to one girl a day for 100 days. I think that's pretty cool, man. I think that's pretty, uh, it's pretty ballsy to do, especially 
I mean, hey, look, for some of you, this might be easy peasy, but, and you know, good for you. But if you're a guy like me, if you're more introverted and shy, hey, be, be good at pretending to be an extrovert. That's what I've tried to learn how to do. And that's something I'm still striving after. Um, I, I actually, I think it's called a uh, pseudo extrovert. I think that's what they call it. All in all, step out of your comfort zone, my brothers. And I'm preaching to myself here first. You know, it's crazy how many dudes I see that are handsome dudes, yet they can't get, they can't even talk to women um, because they get too quiet and awkward. And they've got just no communication skills. And um, honestly, they're like some kind of deer in the headlights anytime someone's you know, comes up and starts talking to them. They just don't, they don't know how to react. They don't know what to say. And, um, hey, look, this is not how you wanna be, especially as a man. You don't wanna be like this. Look, you could be doing steps one through six perfectly, right? You could be doing all these grooming hacks and tricks every single day. But if you don't have number seven down, if you aren't connecting, if you don't know how to be a good communicator, ain't no girl gonna be attracted to you. Put yourself out there, man. I mean, I know it's scary, but get some balls of steel. Um, hey, I know for me growing up, I was probably one of the most shy people you'd ever meet, right? But once I became a teenager, I knew that, um, I realized that I needed to step outside of, outside of my box and, and really just put myself out there, right? At least try. And uh, in the beginning, I mean, yeah, I could, I could look back so many times now and remember all the awkward moments and conversations I had with girls. But hey, at least I put myself out there and I got better every single time. And that's what happens with experience and repetition. You get better every single time, especially with women. And, you know, looking back, sometimes I, I remember these awkward conversations that I would have. And I remember some of the, some of the girls actually thought it was kind of cute. Um, how nervous I was, yet how I still was man enough to actually go up and talk to him, right? And so ultimately, this goes not just with women, but with everyone, connect with everyone, learn how to be a great communicator. And it's crazy, you know, uh, as most of you know here on this channel who have been following me for a while know that um, you guys know my faith, you know, I believe in Jesus, you know, I believe in the Bible. Um, and I was having a conversation with someone the other day about this, but I personally believe that the enemy knows how important fellowship is and how important uh, connection is and community is, right? And that's why he's got so many young men today locked up in their rooms, addicted to prawn, video games, social media, because these things, it, it, it cuts off face-to-face -face interaction with other human beings, right? It cuts off that connection. And um, also, how about this pandemic that we're in? I mean, it's got everyone locked up in their homes, scared to interact, scared to connect, scared to uh, hug each other even, or even uh, uh, give each other high fives or fist bumps. So I encourage you guys and I encourage myself, fight against this, my brothers. Do whatever you can to connect, to communicate and to create fellowship and however you think is the safest way to go about in these current times. I know my city has only, I think, one case of COVID right now. Um, so it's pretty much obsolete where I live. And so in my case, I have just a little more options as far as um, community and fellowship goes. But I also know that places are really starting to open up right now all over the world, which is great. Um, so hey, anyways, I know this is supposed to be some kind of like skincare kind of video, so I apologize, but I, I feel like this is a really, really um, timely message at the moment. And so what I'm really just trying to say here, just to kind of tie up all these loose ends, is that when you got all these tips down, including number seven, which is connect, hey, women, men, everyone will see you as someone truly attractive and someone that they just love being around. So. With that said, hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. It'd mean a whole lot to me if you gave it a nice big thumbs up. And uh, for those of you that wanna stick around and be updated on all future content, please be sure to hit the notifications button to be informed when I drop new content. 
I'll see you all very soon. My name is Joe Jaxler. Peace always.